Hey guys, James back again. Um, part one's already done. I cooked some sausage up. I uh, tore up some uh, loaf of bread for the, the stuffing. So now I'm just going to put some add-ins into a, or a saute up a couple of add-ins. Um, depending on how you like your stuffing, you need to put whatever add-ins you want. Like, well, I've done apples once or twice out of experiments. You can put cashews or nuts into it. I like putting celery and onion into it myself, just like a yellow onion, not, you know, not, not too ripe where, you know, it's going to hurt the eyes or whatever. So I'm going to saute those up for a little, with a little butter, get them sauteed up just a bit so they're tender. And I like a little crunch in my stuffing, so we're going to do it like that. Um, so uh, the sausage we were talking about earlier is drained out. There's no grease, so I'm going to put that into the... Uh, bread mixture or the bread that I've already crumbled up you saw the last video basically I don't use bread crumbs or prepackaged bread squares or anything or anything fancy just like white bread I just crumble up it's nice and it gives a nice texture it melts in your mouth and uh, while we're cooking up the uh, onions and celery I'll put a little few season, little season in the uh, bread mixture, a little pepper. I like pepper in my uh, in my stuffing. Just a touch of salt. I've already I put some sage in with the sausage that we saw last video, so I don't really need that. Now, um, as the vegetables are cooking, I'll start putting in uh, one can of cream corn. And about, or this, or a little bit of cream corn and a, about half can of chicken broth. I give it a little mix. Just most some people put egg into it, but I usually find with the uh, the uh, cream corn and the chicken broth together holds it together pretty much pretty solidly. I'd say probably for the recipe I did maybe one can of each. Just to make it nice, I like it moist and soft. I don't really like it too hard, but you know, if you like it, you know, stuffing a little hard, a little crunchy all around, then you'll know, use less of it. So, yep, got that mixed together. Again, yeah, I'm, you don't have to follow this recipe to the T. If you want to say put a different type of onion in, go ahead. You want to put peppers in, that's your choice. Not put like any kind of cashews or nuts in it. By all means, knock yourself out. So uh, I preheated my oven to 375. So the only things left I have to do is uh, maybe put a couple, maybe top it off a little bit with a little more pepper, a little just a little touch more salt just along the top. And uh, just add my pepper, uh, celery, and my onions, I should say. And uh, we're going to see what happens at the end. Uh, usually it's fantastic looking and delicious tasting. So um, next video, I'll film the result. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.